I seek to know. Knowledge does not exist. Life is a cruel jest, purposeless and of short duration. Because the human mind demanded intellectual expression, Typhon sowed the seeds of intellectual confusion so that numerous orders of learning appeared which were convincingly plausible but untrue. These various orders of thought survived by catering to the weaknesses and limitations of the flesh. Today, our great industrial civilization is feeling the heavy hand of an outraged destiny. The evil genius of our ambitions has again undone us, and our follies crumble about us. Typhon rules the world, for the earth today is the arena of the ambitious. Remember? Typhon is their symbol for Christianity. Don't go away, folks. I've got to take a short break. I'll be right back after this short pause. I want you to have a pencil and paper with you. I'm going to give you some information. I shall return. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Tonight's show, folks, is brought to you by the Pilot Connection. The Pilot Connection. Write down this address. 6333 Pacific Avenue, Suite 334. Stockton, California, 95207. That's 6333 Pacific Avenue, Suite 334, Stockton, California, 95207. Or you can call them at area code 209-957-5493. That's 209-957-5493. 5493. Who is the Pilot Connection and what do they do? Well, the Pilot Connection is an organization, a First Amendment educational society that specializes in teaching people the true law about income tax. Did you know that income tax is voluntary? Well, it is, folks. But you just can't go and stop paying income tax and say, I volunteer not to pay because you've entered into certain adhesion contracts which make you liable for income tax. But the pilot connection can tell you how to untax yourself legally and lawfully so that you never have to file another return, pay another nickel of income tax, or maintain the records that those designated as taxpayers, because of their adhesion contracts, have to do. No, if you go through the pilot connection, you will become legally designated a non-taxpayer. I am a member, I have done this, so have tens of thousands of other people, and I can tell you that it is true that it works and that you will have no problem with the IRS unless, of course, Congress changes the laws down the road and then we will have to see what those changes are if they do that and if they change the law and then it becomes binding that we have to do it again then we will have to do it. Okay, <clears throat> now if you would like information on how to join the Citizens Agency for Joint Intelligence, which is our private intelligence organization, the largest and the most successful in the world, and if you've been listening to this program, you know that that is true. Now, if you'd just like to join, send us $45. Just send $45, tell us you want to become a CAGI member, and we'll put you on the rolls and send you all your information, your press credentials and everything else that you get along with your membership. And believe me, it's well worth your while. Your money comes back to you a thousandfold, uh, as our members, our current members, will be happy to tell you. That is, if you use the benefits. Or if you would like a packet of information, or if you'd like to purchase my book, Behold a Pale Horse, which is 500 pages of the most suppressed information ever published in the history of the world. Call Stan. Talk to him. He's my right-hand man. His number is 602-567-6109. That's 602-567-6109. Or just write to Stan and ask him for a packet of information. Write to Stan, S-T-A-N, Post Office Box 889, Camp Verde, Arizona, 86322. That's Post Office Box 8, 
eight nine camp spelled C A M P Verdi, which is Spanish for green, spelled V as in Victor, E R D E, Arizona, eight six three two two. Well, let's get back to where we left off, folks. What then of Isis, the mother of the mysteries? She who was so defiled and desecrated by the profane that her sages and prophets were forced to flee into the wilderness to escape the machinations of the evil one. Is she not the woman clothed with the son of Revelation who flees with her man-child into the wilderness to escape the evil purposes of the great dragon? Well, folks, that's what the mystery school believes, but I can tell you that's not true. You see, the Mystery School was the original college run by Nimrod in the city of Babylon. And the college was a college of priests who practiced the religion of the sun. The college, the adepts, the initiates, the priests were scattered all over the world when Seth, the son of Noah, came with an army and defeated Nimrod. And this is where the legend really comes from, because Seth chopped Nimrod up into little pieces and scattered him all over the land. In the legend of the Osirian cycle, Osiris was chopped into 14 pieces. Isis came to put him back together again and bring him to life. She could find all the pieces save one, the phallus, or the generative force. It is now known as the lost word of Freemasonry. And the phallus is represented by the obelisk, the monolith. It is the penis of Osiris, the generative force. It represents the lost word of Freemasonry. It represents the Luciferian philosophy. It represents the light, the sun, Lucifer, the intellect. In Dealey Plaza, you will find an obelisk. In Washington, D.C., you will find an obelisk known as the Washington Monument. In the courtyard of the Vatican, you will find an obelisk. Should I continue? The family in England, whose estates are called Scion House, has an obelisk on their lawns. Should I go on? I will. I will go on and on and on and on until you either wake up or I am dead one or the other. And if you don't wake up, I would rather be dead than live in slavery in the New World Order with our Constitution destroyed, the family broken, the children taken from the homes to be raised by the state Christians and patriots locked in prison camps, labor camps, until they are no longer useful and then they will be executed. And the blood will run in the New World Order. If you don't believe me, look back at every single nation where international socialism has triumphed over Christianity. And you will see that tens of millions perished were destroyed. Socialism, folks, sucks. And I will not live under such a system. And I hope you agree with me. If you don't like my language, that's tough. I'm fighting a battle against people with no morals, no decency, no heart, no soul, no soul. They do not even believe in God. They do not even believe in God. The glory of Egypt, according to these people, ceased with the death of Osiris. The mighty temples still stood, but the God who illuminated them had gone. The priests bowed helplessly before the dead embers of their altars. 
and one by one the sanctuaries crumbled into ruin, and the custodians of these ancient truths hid themselves in obscure corners of the earth, lest they be hunted down and slain for the sin of dreaming and hoping for a better day. Isis, then, as the scattered but still consecrated body of initiates, began the great...